Hey guys, welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to talk about my earnings and spending in WoW for 2022. It's a topic I've wanted to cover since I get a lot of questions over on Twitch about what I do with all of my gold. Towards the end, I will also go over my top methods for making gold currently in Dragonflight and show off a couple of mailboxes. Year over year, I had a net gain of 140 million gold, going from over 700 million on January 1st to over 840 million by the end of the year. This is despite spending around 100 million gold on tokens, which I used to maintain my game time and for purchases with Battlement Balance. In total, I purchased 532 tokens over the course of the past year for nearly $8,000 in balance. If we look at my transaction history page, you can see I have around 90 pages with 10 transactions per page. I have been copying all of these transactions to a Google Sheets document for both 2022 and 2021, just to make it easier to check where all of my gold and balance went. Here's my spending for 2022. You can see the dates where I purchased tokens and the estimated gold spent. I don't track prices too closely, so I had to use the WA Token Prices website and my Discord bot to get the low and high range. For 2022, I spent between 99.5 to 103.3 million gold for 532 tokens. Here's my spending for 2021. In 2021, I spent between 67.5 to 71.1 million gold for 407 tokens. If we compare 2022 to 2021, you can see that we purchased 125 more tokens and spent 30 million gold more. Roughly $2,200 of the $8,000 balance that we got from gold went into World of Warcraft purchases. Did also convert 73 tokens directly into game time, which is not included in that 532 tokens figure. Biggest expenditures in a while this past year, probably picking up copies of Dragonflight for all of my accounts. Did grab Epic Edition for my main account, as well as Heroic Edition for each additional account. Did also do quite a few giveaways on Twitter, giveaways for my two-year anniversary stream over on Twitch, and then a couple of copies of Dragonflight Epic Edition for some charity streams as well this past year. Ended up picking up a couple of character transfer bundles as well when those were on sale, since those are very handy to have for gold making. And then other random purchases like Northrend uh, Epic Upgrades. Couple of mounts as well. Did also grab a bunch of uh, character boosts, which I used on a couple of new realms to set up some crafters. Hearthstone was my biggest gold sink this past year. This was also the case in the year prior in 2021. In 2022, we spent almost $3,200 in Hearthstone from purchasing bundles, packs for the new expansions, doing pre orders as well as purchasing the runestones, which are a new currency that they added recently to the game. Pretty much any time there's a new bundle, I purchase it with Wagold, Gold, just taking your gold, converting it into balance, and using the balance to purchase our bundles. Overwatch 2 dropped in late 2022. Even though we only have two months worth of purchases, I ended up spending $848 in Overwatch 2 this past year. This was used mostly for the Overwatch coins, which is the in-game currency for Overwatch, and leak tokens as well. Both of those can be used to purchase skins and other cosmetics in-game. If this trend in spending continues, Overwatch 2 purchases may exceed the Hearthstone purchases this upcoming year, in 2023. In Diablo Immortal, I ended up spending almost $1,300. These are actually purchases I regret since I only played the game for around a month, and that balance or even gold could have gone into something else. Lastly, we have miscellaneous purchases, which is just $220 for Modern Warfare 2 and the Diablo 4 pre-order. Do actually still need to finish the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, and I'm definitely looking forward to Diablo 4 when it comes out. That is how I spent the big portion of the gold that I made this past year in 2022. We purchased 532 tokens with roughly 100 million gold, turned those tokens into roughly $8,000 in battle balance, and made purchases outside the game. 
This doesn't include any in-game purchases, like the tens of millions that we dropped on the black market, or the 73 tokens that were directly converted into game time. Here's one of the top ways I've been making gold. I have been selling a lot of the healing darts I crafted with engineering on the stone at a pretty nice profit. But you can see most of these sales are from patterns. Usually just reset and flip these when the prices get too low. You can see we have 1.2 million on the first page. Probably have at least another 1.5 million on the second page as well, just from flipping recipes. I'm going to go ahead and loot this mailbox. Total gold collected was a little bit over 3 million. I've already covered this in previous videos, but my hunter is just selling fortune cookies, rings, amulets. Been selling a lot of fang adornments as well recently. I think that's pretty much it for this tune. We do have a pretty big mailbox to loot. Pretty close to 10 pages. Looks like we sold some leftover legendary pieces as well. It's mostly amulets and signets though. Bunch of sales from the jewel crafting shuffles. Doing gem dust and clasps. I think someone sent me a random diamond as well.
Lots of faded fortune cookie cells on this page. Oh yeah, I think someone reset my gliders it's like three weeks ago. That was another really good flip item. Not bad. 3.3 .3 million collected. On this banker, I'm selling a lot of legendaries as well as crimson gear. Had a lot of sales last week with the changes to gray and white transmog. We have three pages total, 700k on page one. Waiting for the page to refresh. Page 2 has 532k. I think this is a week plus a weekend worth of sales. It's been uh, roughly 8 days it looks like since we've looted. And then the last page has 670k, 75 sales. Total gold collector was 1.9 million on this ROM. This is another one of my bankers that's selling both legendary bases as well as crimson gear. Have 900k on page one. Some auctions not showing on page two as well. Probably have close to a million in this mailbox. Total gold collective is 958.3k. Uh, this is one of my full pot realms. Didn't think Crimson Gear was worth doing on this realm, so we're just focusing on legendaries. 
I am also selling off the Veiled Augment runes that I had on this realm from last expansion. Sold quite a few of those this week. We have 1.2 million to loot on page 1, and 32 auctions on page 2 to loot as well. Three hundred K on page two. Total goal collector is one point five million. This is one of my hype up realms. Only three hundred and ninety three K on this realm. You can see a lot of that came from Azure Weave. Just using the CDs on this tune. Some Crimson Sails, some Legendary Sails mixed in as well, but definitely not as good as our other realms as far as profit margins and like volume of sales as well. This is another one of my full pop realms, just doing Legendaries on this realm as well. Had some pretty nice sales though. Sold a BP for 50k, 47.5 after the auction house cut. Sold quite a few pieces for like 15k, 20k. Here's one at 30. Bunch more at 30. Pretty solid sales. We have 1.1 million on page one. And roughly like two pages worth of auctions to loot. Seven hundred and eighty seven K on page two. Getting close to another gold cap on this character. Probably gonna have to move some gold off this week. Total gold collected was one point nine million. This is the last legendary banker we're gonna be checking today. You can see it's all just legendary base sales. Did sell some of my deep sea satin. Picked up a bunch of that when it was cheap. Prices looked uh, favorable, so I've been flipping that. But yeah, uh, most of it is legendary base sales. We have roughly two pages. A little bit over one million on page one. And then a little bit under 800k on page 2. Total Gold Collective was 1.87 million here. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'd like to thank my supporters over on Patreon. Thank you to Nish, Lachlan, and Maro. Take care and see you guys all in the next video. Late.